I discussed the benefits of drinking spring water over reverse osmosis or distilled water. I'm going to go in a little bit and explain about distilled or reverse osmosis water and why they really should be avoided. But to understand this, we need to really understand the chemistry of water. And the best way to explain this is to go into another type of water called type 1 water. Type 1 water is ultra pure water. It's so pure, it's actually measured by electrical resistance as opposed to parts per million as we will with uh, will measure distilled or reverse osmosis water. Type 1 water is not something you're going to find in your local grocery store. This is uh, water that's used primarily by laboratories. But it is so pure that it can become corrosive. I'll give you an example, ultra pure water measured at 22 megohm is so pure that you can actually start eating glass when it's poured into glass. So the more pure water is, the more aggressive it becomes. Distilled and reverse osmosis water are not as pure as ultra pure water but still pure enough that they do have some aggressiveness to it. That means that it's going to dissolve more. Now this doesn't mean that it's going to dissolve just toxins out of the body. Water does not have a brain to sit there and say I'll take the bad stuff and leave the good stuff behind. It's going to take what it comes into contact with. This can include toxins, can include vitamins, can include minerals. So therefore when you drink reverse osmosis or distilled water it can actually leach beneficial minerals from the body. This is one of the reasons that they found in one study that drinking softer waters, such as reverse osmosis and distilled water, can actually increase the risk of heart disease. They found it was taking away beneficial minerals such as magnesium that help prevent heart disease. Another big issue with the purified waters is, again, they need to find some way to saturate themselves. If I take a container of, let's say, distilled or reverse osmosis water and I leave it open on the counter, if you were to monitor the pH of that water, you'll find it'll actually go acidic. The reason that, that water goes acidic is it'll start absorbing different gases from the air, particularly carbon dioxide from a carbonic acid, and it can absorb nitric oxides and sulfur oxides from the air, forming nitric and sulfuric acids. So we've got not only the problem with it leaching minerals and vitamins from the body, it can also go acidic, making it hard on the enamel of the teeth. Therefore, I really recommend that if you are going to drink water, you're better off going with spring water, or if you are going to drink distilled or reverse osmosis water, Make sure you saturate the waters with minerals before you drink it.